Hello again, this is Ken Turner from Milford, Ohio. And we're still talking about faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And I just want to jump right in here. First Thessalonians 1, 4 through 6. Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost. Here we are, we're looking at the scripture. He's talking about talking to the Thessalonians, and he says, Knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God, for our gospel came not unto you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance. You know, some people want to try to say that the Holy Spirit ain't working today. They want to try to say tongues are dead and tongues are gone. But I can tell you right now, without the Holy Spirit working in and through my life, I am nothing. God is got his spirit and it's still alive in the church and he says my brethren for our gospel came not unto you in word only but also in power and in the holy ghost that word power there is dunamis it's the same word that dynamite comes from and it's the same word that dynamite dynamo comes from it's a building it, it it's an exhaustive powerful word there he's talking about he said it didn't come in in word only he said, but also in power and in the Holy Ghost. And that word ghost there is the same word as spirit. If it could say Holy Spirit there. And that word spirit actually means breath, breath of God. In other words, the word of God is living and active. It is God breathing forth into us, Christ breathing forth into us. The gospel came not unto you in word only, but in power and in the Holy Ghost and in much assurance. Why do we have much assurance? Why do we have much faith? Because the power of God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the power of Jesus Christ is speaking to forth his word in this world today and there's still power god i'll say it again god is still on his throne god has still empowered his church he still empowered the word of god so that we would be enlightened it says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of christ or the word of god that is power right there when the holy spirit is moving and it touches a life i've seen some grown men cry because God was moving upon their heart because the power of word, the word of God was speaking forth and it touched their lives. It touched their hearts. Oh, I, I remember one time I was witnessing to a guy and he says, man, I feel something in this. I feel so. Well, yeah, you're going to feel something because the power of God, the power, the anointing will come upon you as you share your testimony, as you share the word of God, because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. We got to have faith to get faith. We've got to hear the word of God be spoken. And whether God uses you or he uses me, he is putting forth his word for his purpose and for his kingdom. We know we have to remember that. And ye, it says here, let me go on down. As ye know what manner of men we were among you for your sake, and ye became followers of us and of the Lord having and received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost. Here the church was persecuted. People were being put in prison. People were being beaten. The things like this was happening in Thessalonica church. He's saying you might be in a place of much affliction. We complain if we have our our. our poor fingernail broken or something like that. But these people were suffering for Jesus Christ. And it says, with joy of the Holy Ghost. So he was encouraging them here. He was encouraging, Paul was encouraging there, that you have the word of God coming to you through power and through the Holy Ghost, that even in affliction, you can have joy in the Holy Spirit. You can have power. You can have ability through the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 14 through 16. But as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. If we aren't being led by the Spirit of God, we're going to have trouble being the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we call, call 
Abba, we cry, Abba, Father, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And this is what he's saying here. For many as led by the Spirit of God, allow ourselves to be led by the Spirit of God. Allow God to speak to you through his word, through his word. But allow the Spirit of God to lead and guide you. When you open up the Bible, ask God. Ask God. God, show me what you're trying to say to me. Don't open the Bible and try to prove that you're right because you may be wrong. You may be wrong. Study the Word of God. Be led by the Spirit of God. If you don't, there's a lot of people I know they say, well, I don't even know what they're reading. Well, start just start reading. Just start reading the Bible through. You can read the Bible through and uh, what? three chapters a day. You can read it through in a year. So start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. We must allow ourselves to be led by the Spirit of God. We can't be led by man's doctrine. We can't be led by just our church. We have to be led by the Spirit of God. God wants to use us. He wants to speak through us. He wants to deal with us. He wants to help us. We have to remember that God's Spirit is still working. Working. And faith comes by hearing, by hearing the word of God. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. His spirit will bear witness by our spirit. His spirit will bear witness with our spirit that we are the children. I know whom I believe and persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him. Why? Because I am being led by the spirit of God. I'm allowing God to speak to me through his word and through his spirit. Hallelujah. Allow God to work in your life and speak to you.